Hey friends, welcome back to the Mojo Rabbit channel. Today I am doing a review and I'm showing off the results of Chocolate Sun's Medium Tanning Cream. Uh, this is the Cocoa Glow. It's uh, actually, since I bought this, been relabeled. So if you go on the Chocolate Sun website, it's gonna look a little different than this. It has uh, like a brown label and it's this huge Chocolate Sun on it. Um, but this is identical to their Glow Medium Tanning Cream, just a different label. I checked the ingredients, it's the same product. So I was attracted to this brand because according to their website, um, their products are handcrafted entirely of organically grown, wildcrafted botanicals and herbs, sugars, salts, pure essential oils, and all natural clean preservatives. So for anything that I'm going to slather head to toe, um, those buzzwords kind of turn me on. Uh, you know, anything you put into your body and onto your skin is going to seep in and affect the way that your body works. Uh, things that we topically apply can kind of build up um, in our blood and in our organs. Um, so paying attention to that is something that is important to me. So uh, in their line, they have several different products. So they have uh, the tanning cream, which is available in light, medium, and dark. Again, today we're talking about the medium. They also have a tanning mist, also in light, medium, and dark. They have a tanning gel. They have a botanical sun defense product, which I'm presuming is a sunscreen. They have um, several scents of body scrub and lip treats as well. But this review is strictly on their tanning cream because it is the only product in the line that I have tried. So this is $40, it's eight ounces. Um, you can see it's this kind of lightly yellow, almost eggshell-y type of color. It very much has the consistency of a lotion. And I put this on yesterday, I'd say about 15, 16 hours ago. And um, I put it on from my neck down while I actually started at my feet and worked my way up to my jawline. And uh, I think the first thing you can probably immediately see if we're talking about color payoff is that the medium is not very dark at all. I mean, I am a fairly fair skinned person and there's definitely not a contrast, um, you know, really at all between this and my face. So I would really put this in the light category. I've never used their light version of this product. So, um, I have no idea how much color that might lend, but if, if you're looking for just a, a small uptick in your tan game, then, then maybe the medium is the way to go. Um, if you're looking for something more noticeable, definitely would go for their dark. Um, haven't, again, tried that color, but I mean, medium, as you can see, is not gonna give you a whole lot of uh, tan to your skin. Uh, the next thing I will say is that it does say in their instructions that it takes six to eight hours for this product to develop and you do not want to get wet after that point. And there's a reason why. And I will show you. But bam, look at this water streaking. Okay, so I put this product on probably five or six hours before I went to bed. Um, I knew what the instructions said. This is not the first time that I have used this product. Um, but you know, the only water I handled after I used this would have been from washing my hands or perhaps tightening up things in my sink in my kitchen. Um, so I'm presuming what I probably did was like wash my hands and then maybe grabbed a towel and just like flicked a couple droplets. But as you can see that even just a couple droplets landing is going to cause like major, major streaking. So my recommendation to you, if you're going to use this product is to put it on before bed, um, you know, put it on give it some time to try to dry, maybe 10, 15 minutes, kind of walk around your house, whatever, um, and then go to bed so that while you're sleeping, it can do all it's developing and you don't have to worry about um, water splashing. So that's kind of the remedy to that. Um, the next thing I will say is um, the way you apply it is like a lotion. Um, you know, you wanna just kind of rub it in, rub it in, rub it in, and it does you know, leave a little bit of a white cast so you can certainly see once you've worked it in. Um, but I will say I've certainly done that. And I will also say that I am a fairly seasoned self tanner user. So it's certainly not the first self tanning product I've used, but I just wanted to show you 
the like terrible streaking that I got from this product. I mean, look, and I will say like, I mean, this is the motion that I used to apply this. So maybe my final motion might have been like this after having gone like this. Maybe that's, I mean, that's how I'm presuming I got that streak. But again, it would have been after much of this movement. And then it probably was like, whoop, that's what I'm thinking happened. But anyway, um, I mean, that's pretty significant streaking. Oh, it's just ugly. And the next thing I'll say about this product is the smell is atrociously pungent. Um, and this is not a question of it smells good or it smells bad because that is subjective. For me, it was just super pungent and it lasts for hours and hours. I mean, I put this on 15, 16 hours ago, I can still smell it. And I, when I went to bed last night, I was literally had my covers like up to my chin trying to muffle the smell. And by that point, like my nose and my throat were like burning from how strong the smell was and how it does not go away. So for that reason alone, I will never ever put this product on my body again because I literally was just like uncomfortable all evening because of how strong the smell was and, and how it was affecting my nose and my mouth. So, um, you know, maybe long story short, if you're here wondering whether it's a product I'd recommend or not, the, the answer is absolutely not. Um, smell atrocious, streakiness after, um, you know, putting it on and really rubbing it in and going over it is just like unacceptable. It's just not dummy proof enough um, for me to recommend the product. I'm not perfect. You know, there could be an element of user error, but uh, again, I showed you the motion that I used and how I went over and over the area. Um, and that's just not a result that I find acceptable. So, um, you know, the smell traditionally in tanning creams, lotions, whatever comes from DHA. The DHA in this is derived from sugar beets. Um, you know, I can't tell you for certain, like that's what's making it smell so pungent and making it linger so long. But oftentimes when you hear people complain about um, scent in self tanners, it's, it's oftentimes DHA is the culprit. So um, let me also give you a little bit of instruction or context as to what I did to prepare my body to receive a self tan. Um, so one moment here as I grab, my brush. Um, so this is a jute body brush. Um, body brushes are traditionally made of jute or one other type of fiber, which is escaping me. Um, but I like this one compared to the other one and I will look up what it is and, and put a comment in the notes below. But this is gentler than the other common uh, material that is used for body brushes. Uh, I've used the other kind before and it was like a torture device. I just felt like I was like scraping the bejesus out of my skin. Um, but this one I quite like. Uh, this, the brand is uh, Elytrum. I believe I purchased this from a beauty store in Europe, but certainly you can get jute body brushes here in the US. So I did that. I also shaved my legs, um, took a shower and dried thoroughly and then went in with the tanning cream. So um, exfoliation is a really good and important step when you are doing self tanning to kind of prepare your skin to receive it. Um, and it's also great to do before you do like your next round of self tanning. If you're a regular self tanner and let's say you do it once a week, doing that exfoliation step really kind of helps to get the last of uh, the previous tan off before you go on to your next tan. So um, good and important steps to get uh, the best results from your self tanner. So if you have a self tanner that you really enjoy, would love if you would post a comment before, because uh, before, below, um, because I am still on the hunt for the perfect self tanner. I have not found it yet. So if you have a suggestion, I'd love to hear it. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. I do not make money off these videos. Um, so those are just little actions you can do that let me know you're out there and encourage me to keep making videos. I make totally honest reviews. None of the products I review on my channel are sponsored or gifted by a brand. So you're going to get totally honest, both positive and negative reviews on my channel about beauty, um, lifestyle, makeup, 
products. So check out my channel. I've got all kinds of stuff on there. And um, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. So I hope you have a great day.